vast embrace of feminine and masculine to save this plane. The nation mourns as the young up-and-coming pop diva, Apatura Iris, named after a butterfly, is brutally gunned down in cold blood backstage just moments after she electrified a standing room only crowd of 103,000 fans, the most ever for a transgender artist. Here is a clip from her final interview. My great epiphany came the day I encountered my spirit animal, a purple emperor, Apatura Iris, a beautiful butterfly. In that moment, I knew without a shadow of a doubt, it was time for me to undergo my metamorphosis. The pop diva driven by wealth and fame died that day. In her place, the spiritual leader you see before you today, a true beacon of light in this time of darkness. Some may counter a true beacon of idiocy agreeing to perform in a state still reeling from the great quake, raging fires in the dreaded Omega variant. The California governor has put the state of California in the strictest of lockdowns. All major roadways are closed. Stay at home or risk arrest. <laughs> Hey bro, you see some keys around here? I like locked myself out last night. Yeah. Hi, I'm Stephanie. Nice to meet you, my phone's ringing. I got something for you. Dude, this place is huge, man. Anyway, I see you're busy, bro. I'll come back later. Hey, Dad. Did you get the money I sent you? Let me see. I brought you some sweets. I baked it. I'll put it right here. My number's there, too, in case you want to get together. Yeah. Don't be a stranger. I got it. Thank you so much. Did you get a job? Yes, a delivery job. Good. And stay warm out there. Your mother worries. Wear that hat she got you. I will. Now take a break from those videos you're making and get your life back in order. Your mother and I can't be your money tree forever. America was once great. Back in the day when ordinary men and women rose up in the face of adversity. They'd make sacrifices and face certain death for the greater good of society. Back then, we had real heroes. Now, America faces its most difficult challenge, immersed in the deadliest of all wars the war against our own mediocrity and self-indulgence. Our main adversary, sugar. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and make a comment. Climate change, corporate corruption, it's all a conspiracy to get rid of the bottom feeders. That's you and me, and they're succeeding. We're on a way out, man. It's sayonara, adios. I'm sure that was racist. What are you gonna do? Subscribe to the channel, make a comment, like the video, I'm out. Hello America. The body count on city streets all across the country has continued to rise, and sanitation workers struggle to keep up with the cleanup. You're late. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. That ain't your tip. I need more cigarettes. Get back in five minutes and I might give you some of that change. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.
You're late again. I'm sorry. I thought this might be healthier. The hell's this? Where's my six? I couldn't do it. Your cough. Get off my property before I get my shotgun. <laughs> Hello, America. I'm Guy Patterson. The government has just approved mail order vaccines. Check your records. Make sure you're taking your daily dose for every variant. Need help remembering? Take it with your morning frappuccino. That's what I do. Why are fermented vegetables going to help you optimize your creativity? I'll tell you why. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll, man. Don't let them take it away from us. In the human experience, we are burdened by this physical form. We must realize we are not superior to the other living things on this planet. The sooner we realize that, the sooner we reach enlightenment. We must connect with our spirit animals. Let them guide us. Do not seek them out. Be open to it, and your spirit animal will find you. The feminine, the masculine. What is it? Duncan, it's me. Jeff, I could use a boost right now. How them videos going? That's why I'm calling. Not so good. Your audience hasn't found you yet is all. Yeah, well they better hurry. I don't know how much longer I can last as a bike messenger. Don't you worry. I'll never be a shortage of yanks willing to spend all their money on booze and fast food and meds. That's what I'm afraid of. You just go on and keep taking care of your mind, your body, and your spirit. As you do, Jeff. You'll find your way. I believe in you. Thanks, Duncan. My pleasure. You got my meds? Yes, sir. Hey, you ever think about planting an herb garden here? This is my front yard. Yeah, I know. You got a lot of space here. What the hell would I want with herbs? The medicinal properties. You know if you incorporate herbs in your diet on a regular basis, you can probably do away with a lot of the meds you order. I like the birds. Go on. Get out of here. Thanks for the meds. Have a nice day. Nice bike, man. Thanks. Would you like some popcorn? Organ meats, the unsung heroes. They're so nutrient dense, yet so overlooked by society. It's not fair. Bro, 
Don't let the media strip you of your constitutional right. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. So go out there and do whatever it takes to be happy in this crappy human experience, bro. Subscribe, like the video, leave a comment. I'm out. Hello America, I'm Guy Patterson. The numbers are in on the recent death toll. And the question on everyone's mind, who's got the higher death count, Republicans or Democrats? And the answer, it's virtually the same. In other words, this country is just as divided as ever. Tonight, we take you to each of the candidates as they tour the country in preparation for the presidential debates. To counter the ever-increasing number of variants, we must further vaccine research. To do this, we have to increase taxes on all Americans still able to work. Nanobots. We arm the bots with nano weapons, inject them into the compromise. We launch a full scale assault against the viruses. The existing technology is in place. No higher taxes necessary. That's science, technology, and military working together. God bless America. It is simply reckless, and it has not gone through the proper FDA approvals to warrant mass distribution. Once again, a stalemate between our two parties. Well, shoot, if it ain't the man who gave me a new lease on life. Speaking of which, how are those front yard gardens going? I'm glad you asked. We just finished an entire block, completely self-sustained, totally regenerative. Dude, that's fantastic. The Rodriguez's, they're growing the celery, the sweet potatoes, and the chakras, they got the cruciferous vegetables down pat. And at the end of the cul-de-sac, the Wallaces, they got all the livestock we'll need for months, even years. They got cows, pigs, chickens, even lambs. Jeff, we got a real tight-knit community here. It's a beautiful thing. You'd be real proud. Man, if only we could scale that up. Shoot, you ain't lying. As long as them big food companies are in bed with them politician variants, we're facing an uphill battle. They may have been rich, white, male chauvinists who owned a whole lot of slaves, but that don't change the fact that they drafted one heck of a document. It laid the foundations for all the freedoms you're sitting in this room for right now, and I'm gonna see to it that you get those freedoms. Only you gotta do something for me right now. Turn to the second paragraph of the first article of your copy there of the Declaration of Independence. See where it says life? Liberty in the pursuit of happiness? Yeah, scratch out happiness right there. And put growth. That's right, because if you teach your kids from day one to pursue growth instead of happiness, this society is gonna have a fighting chance to make something of ourselves if we survive this crazy pandemic. Excuse me. Jeff. How you doing? Hey, are you still teaching that U.S. Citizenship Lamaze class? As we speak. Sorry, I'll make it quick. Shoot. What's actually required to run for president? Well, simple. You gotta be a natural born citizen, 35 years old, and a resident in the U.S. for 14 years. That's it? Well, yeah, that. And someone to back you who's got a whole lot of dough.
What? What? Sorry to bother you. There's some real official looking guy out there throwing around some insane numbers about you endorsing Nano AK-47s. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. You sure? I'm talking some next level numbers out there. Get rid of them. You got it. Oh, and there's another guy out here with the backstage pass. Like mail? Yeah. Hey, if he's got a pass, let him in. Come on in. You finally came to a show. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Wow, man. You've arrived. To where? The dream. Yeah, the dream. Breaking quarantine laws, performing for a bunch of drunks. At least you're giving him an escape. That's just it. We don't need no more escapes. We need to start facing stuff. I know what you mean. I feel like I want to do more good, but I don't know what. You want to help me run for president? Yeah, right. I'm dead serious, Wyatt. All I need is financial backing. You got it. This next one goes out to the man I just endorsed to run for the president of the United States of America. This just in, a third party candidate has just thrown his hat into the political ring. And his financial backer, rock star Wyatt Deacon. Deacon's on board with this cat? He's got my vote. Guy's out of nowhere. He's probably sent by the Russians. Or aliens. I think he's like the second coming. Great, another white male. Not much is known about this failed social media influencer, aside from the fact that he's got, well, no political qualifications whatsoever. Here he is, officially announcing his candidacy. By getting to the root of this nation's problem, our soil. Soil? We can finally fix our food system. For the earth, man. A healthy America will release us from our reliance on health care, while at the same time heal the environment. Great, a tree hugger. Just what we need. This alone will trigger a reduction in violent crimes, homelessness, racism, our national debt, pointless wars, worldwide epidemics. As your president, I will regenerate our soil to regenerate the human spirit. What a freak. If nothing else, this idealist with his head in the clouds has just become relevant as a social media influencer. The question on everyone's minds, will he become relevant as a political candidate for the President of the United States. What is regenerative farming, you might ask? It's so important to champion gardens and schools. We all want to optimize our body's potential, feel great, and look our best. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, make a comment. Get out there, eat the real food, listen to your body, be the best version of yourself. I love you. Right on, bro. You know, I can get you into an all-American sports car with all the bells and whistles, including a security system that doesn't require lock and key. I'm actually good, Mr. President. Thanks. How about a stealth bomber as Supreme Commander-in-Chief? All it'd take would be a phone call. The spike's doing just fine. It's gotta be a hard sell with the ladies. I couldn't imagine being on a date on a bicycle. If you drop out now, I can get with you- With all due respect, sir, I'm not dropping out. Suit yourself.
fear makes themselves known to you. It is a sign to fine tune your senses, tap into your higher spiritual awareness. Virtually overnight, vaccine and nanobot headlines have been overtaken by the state of our soil. This new candidate has injected life and dare I say hope back into this election. Let's go live to the presidential debates. Over 90% of our animals produced for human consumption are raised on factory farms. Bless them. In the face of global extinction, you're suggesting that we switch from this time-tested method to your system that is quite frankly unproven. Darn right, it's unproven. Does this not strike you as irresponsible? It's true. Factory farms have prevented millions of people from starving throughout the years. Amen. But now that the population has been cut in half, there's no longer a need to produce as much food as possible by any means necessary. Dear sir, you cannot just uproot an institution that has been in place for years without disrupting the entire economy. He ain't lying. Countless jobs will be lost. Yeah. And lifestyles turned upside down. Amen. No great change in history has ever occurred without great sacrifice and loss. Easy to say for someone who has never raised a family of his own. Apparently has never had a career. Are you serious? Has never even held a part-time job for more than two Two years. That's just sad. So what does that say about your commitment and your ability to finish what you've started? I've never had a cause as important as this one. Which calls into question your qualifications for what you are proposing. That's a girl. I'm curious. What does a bike messenger with no political experience know about regenerative farming? I have a friend. Really? Who is a dedicated regenerative farmer. And I have a good friend who works at NASA. Doesn't mean I'm going to start telling them how to run the space program. That's telling them. I'm a quick learner. Tell her! This isn't a summer job position you're applying for. Boy, why don't you go back to delivering factory farm foods produced by well-established institutions so that hard-working Americans can go about living their lives. And so you can have a roof over your head. Amen. 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 A lot of question marks facing this new underdog candidate, leaving a lot of Americans questioning, is he even relevant? or just another sideshow to this political circus. This is like all a reality show. Everybody loves an underdog till we find out why they were an Let underdog. me guess, some failed child actor making a desperate plea for attention. Here's a tip, underdog. When you're outclassed by the class list, time to throw in the towel. All our greatest iconic superheroes that we see on the big screen that we read in the comic books, they, most of them, felt like outcasts. But they stood up and they stood for something. So stand for what you know is right and start bucking the trend and walking your own path and building a better world so we can all live and be superheroes in it. I love you. Indeed, this third candidate is well intentioned, but intentions without a plan are just that intentions. This guy's a dreamer, man. I used to be a dreamer. It's only gonna break your heart. Darn right he's on purpose. He's crazy. He's lost his mind. Get him out of there, Joe. Senator Barnes, this is all very cute what you're doing. But it's gotta stop. You're taking more votes from me than you are the president. I'm sorry, but I believe in what I'm doing. I'm sure you do. You're an idealist. I used to be. But idealism only gets you so far before you realize you have to make compromises. I'm to not get... making compromises. And I'm not dropping out. You will. Once you're put to the test, keep looking over your shoulder.
more into your dear power, when you want to make better instinctive decisions, when you want to handle challenging situations with grace. It's just, there's obviously a direct correlation between so many of the pandemic deaths and the type of food the victims are eating. I thought I'd give them some- I thought you'd deliver them unsterilized fruits and vegetables in the middle of an epidemic. Are you crazy? This is America, and Americans love their food properly processed and packaged. But that's not the wholesome food people need and deserve. That's not for you to decide. You're a bike messenger. Your job is to deliver what's ordered. Do that or you're fired. What you need is a campaign manager. Mila. At your service. Instead of running under a rock, Jeff has rolled up his sleeves to spread his message. His growing number of supporters are getting outside and following in his path. right there. You. Go on home. It ain't safe here. Some people don't know when to quit, man. Would you rather spend the last days of your life working yourself to the bone or making the most out of it? Party on, man. Now go to the mirror and repeat these words. Spirit and animal, we are one. Show me the right path. Lead way to enlightenment. Let's go live to the presidential debates. I commend you on your efforts, inspired to say the least. However, a few case studies and feel-good stories doesn't change the fact that we are in a dire situation. It's not often I agree with a senator, but there's a deadly virus out there threatening our very existence. We need an immediate solution. That's right, not your proposed archaic experiment. Tell them what we need are nanobots. Bring on the bots. What we need is a vaccine capable of fending off multiple strains. Get vaccinated. With all due respect, both are band-aids, providing only temporary relief. Good point. Without addressing the real issue. And what pray tale is the real issue? The health of our body. There he goes again. Our mind and our spirit. And that only comes if we reconnect with nature our soil. I don't believe this. After all, it's only Mother Nature that can truly feed us when we're hungry. He's lost his mind. Tend to our health when we're sick. I'm gonna puke. And soothe our very souls. So extra. When we've lost our way. Christ, that is the most pretentious, 
hippie bullcrap I've ever heard. Tell him, Mr. President, what this country needs now is a leader to get them through the storm. Bring on the bots, not an idealist with rose-colored glasses. Idealism has no place in politics. That's right, where our duty is to solve real-world problems to ensure the survival of the human race. That's where you're wrong. We're much more than humans, all of us. He's talking sense. We're spirits bound to all living things on this planet. Get them off the stage. We must not be ruled by our mere physical forms. Now that boy has lost it. No, I haven't. I just see beyond the short-sighted view of politicians driven by special interests. Listen to him. America, we've got to abandon this view that our very livelihood is dependent on vaccines, Get the technology, and factory farms. You know, I'd like to see you live in a world without these things. Tell him, sweetheart. And then come back to see what you have to say. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. We all can do it. Yes, we can. Once we make the choice to abandon factory farms. Lynch him. And redirect government subsidies to regenerative farming. Go regenerative. To rebuild the soil. Save the soil, man. Enhance biodiversity and increase our resilience to life's adversities. Regenerative farming is simply not scalable. Darn right it's not. If it was, we would have done it long ago. It is if we band together and commit to this lifestyle. What does that even mean? He doesn't know because I don't know, and I'm sure the American public doesn't know either. I sure as heck don't. It means. Here it comes. From this day forward. We all make the switch. What switch? Every one of us. Cut out all refined, packaged, and processed foods. You sure? Is he kidding? Silly boy. That would literally mean giving up on going to grocery stores. Ridiculous. And no more going out to eat with your family. That's right. In favor of all natural, real whole foods that you and your neighbors grow in your own yards. And pray tell how long do you propose the American public does this? Forever. Wait, what? Just cross the line. He's lost his mind. Forever? Forever? Forever. That is indeed a good chunk of time. A luxury these candidates no longer have as America goes to the polls. All three candidates will spend tonight with their staunch supporters. Here on the side of reason and hope, we choose not to rely on robots and fad diets and spirit animals, but rather evidence-based science. Let's get into the White House and get this country vaccinated. do declare this administration is beyond vaccinations and we will not regress back into a nation of farmers. With cutting edge technology and time tested military know-how, let nanotechnology lead America into the future. Thank you for your support. I know I'm asking a lot of the American people. We grow up with strong emotional ties to the food we eat. You think he's gonna win? When the food's not real, I don't know. It's but we're making a us. real impact. Making us Isn't that what it's all about? I was kind of cool with it being about the fat checks you gave me and all your leftover groupies. This feels better. We can head into the future with hope. Two, three, four, we got it, you know. Shoot down the hand to save the slave. We're joining up. Fire, fire, fire. Although the race is still too close to call between Senator Barley and President Finley, one thing is certain. The Cinderella story has come to an end. Jeff has fallen way short in the polls. It was a good run, but it's over.
So how'd you crack the case? I owe it to my daughter, actually. Hugest Apatura fan. She won some tickets in this social media contest. And there we was, backstage, waiting for her to finish her last song. We had them fancy water bottles, you know, the ones they only give to people with VIP tickets. When I finished mine, I threw her in the trash. I didn't think anything of it. Being the environmentalist that she is, my daughter took it out of the trash to put it in the recycle, but when she did, she found the crayons. The same crayons they found on Apatura's body when she was dead. Well, I followed the fingerprints to this joker and followed him to you. Imagine my surprise when I found out his next target was you. I lost him in the tunnel, but I stuck on him until it led me backstage last night. Thank you. But why do you do I'll it? I'll tell you why. Money and the fast life. First it was Apatura chipping away at my ticket sales. Then, because of you, I had to cancel all my concert dates. Sorry, Wyatt. Don't be. I've never been so alive with purpose in my life. Too bad you guys lost. Hey, it ain't a loss. Well, it is for all them folks too stubborn to make the change. They're all gonna die before this Omega variant's through. Jeff, however, is playing the long game. I am? That's right. Rather than focusing on the next election, which he definitely lose, he's focusing on the distant future. How? The decisions you make now and how you raise your little Americans in the early years ultimately will determine the direction of this country. I believe in you, and I believe in our future. God bless America. Human race, let's save the human race. Let's save the human race.